It is new club week, guys, and it is TaylorMade's new P700 series irons, 770, 7MC, and 7MB. We're gonna start off with the TaylorMade P770s in this video, this one here. A very good looking club, and as expected, it looks a lot, a lot like the TaylorMade P790s. Following on from the DNA of the P790s that were released, the newest iteration last year, the P770s have gone upgrade, and they've got some big shoes to fill because the previous P770s, these ones here, very impressive. One of the best irons TaylorMade have released for some time. So what's new? A lot of the technology that has been added to the P770 is present in the new P790s. No surprises to everyone, Speed Foam Air is now in the P770s, 69% less dense than the previous Speed Foam, and that's saving weight, which then can be distributed to then increase performance. We have also got this FLTD, which is for CG placement, meaning that it's progressive throughout longer irons and shorter irons both with forged hollow body construction, both with different types of speed foam. P770 here, the newer one, is a bit more compact. We have got a little bit more of a shorter blade length. So perhaps it's gonna be less forgiving. Let's find out. Right, well, we're going to hit the wonderful new P770 first. I have seen some people looking at this new design, very similar to the P790 and thinking, what are you doing? But you gotta remember that DNA is the same between the P770 and the P790. They were always going to have it as a quite a similar design. Now, the lofts are exactly the same. There's no difference between the lofts of the previous P770s to this one, which I'll put on the screen for you now. So we should get some pretty similar numbers, but I do think they're gonna feel very different because the new P790 does feel very different to the old P770s because of that speed foam air. And it wasn't supposed to be out to it. It was supposed to be in to out with the draw, but can't really complain about that one. Very P790-ish. <laughs> it really is. I think it really is in design as well. As I've said, it just feels very similar. I can't say it's too surprising, but that's why there is going to be actually a big difference with the P770 of two, two years ago. That was nice. Oh, well, we got a zero, zero. We got a zero, zero in to out. Happy days. That efficiency is impressive. 1.4-ish smash. Lovely shot. Nice stopping as well. Getting 200 yards pretty dead on for a six iron with rather conventional lofts of 190 of 33 degrees. Spin climbing up a little bit now, which is good, which is good. Blocked it. Just didn't close the club face. Didn't close the club face, missed the green right. We were in trouble, but that was straight out the middle, I think pretty consistently there. Spin staying at around 5,000, which is good now, happy with that, as it is a little bit low, but they're all very efficient numbers. It's the one thing that I'm seeing so far with the P770, the new one. Efficient is the exact word that I'd use for it. It's really packing quite a lot of, a lot of stuff into what is quite a compact head now. Oh, he's hit a draw, but he's an over-the-top draw. That's okay. That's okay from 200 yards. I'll take those into out again. Spin, 4,500. Some nice numbers. I think we're going to be pretty happy with that. But how it will compare to the old P770? Data-wise, it's got to be quite similar, hasn't it? Maybe this will be a touch lower in ball flight. I've noticed that a little bit. But let's see. Cool. So, just grabbing the other one, 2020 to 2022 P770s. Honestly, there is a slight difference. I think to the naked eye, maybe you wouldn't initially see but you can see that the 2020 p770 is just slightly larger from address the main thing i can see with that shorter blade length it looks like there's a little bit of toe relief that's gone the grooves are a little bit closer to the toe depends what you want really i think they are both pretty forgiving in terms of for a player's iron but let's have a look these might go a little bit longer as they are half an inch longer Better. Well, it was short, wasn't it? Again, slightly left. Slightly over the top. Getting pretty similar numbers, but again, it's not as efficient. Clubhead speeds up. Again, not as efficient. So, I don't think I'm hitting it. That was a bit out of the heel, but the efficiency is a uh, thing of note here because you're seeing on the 2022 P717 smash back to 1.4, climbing up to that. This is nowhere near close 
Now, they could be attributed down to a few things, not just the club. That was a nice shot. I think it's la launching higher, spinning a little bit more too. Yeah, so that launch angle is quite considerably higher. That was a nice shot I've hit with this one. But you can really see there, launching a lot higher. Coming down a bit softer. What's the launch angle of that one? 18.3, spins up two. That was my favorite shot I've hit of the day so far. But there is a little bit of a difference. Feel-wise, the P770s of 2022, a little bit duller. Now, dull could be attributed as a negative thing. I'm not sure, it's just a bit, bit more dampened. Let's check it out. Right, some really interesting points that I've just had a look with the data here that will make you guys think a lot about upgrading because there are some good bits and there are some bad bits about comparing these two. So if I just bring you to this screen here to compare just kind of the main numbers here, you can see there's actually some big differences that may not be just down to the head itself, which I'll get onto. First of all, you can see that actually the 2020 P770s going slightly faster, they're launching higher and they're spinning a bit more. So although the old models are slightly faster by about a mile or so, because of the spin rate, it's going five yards less with carry. Now both these spin rates are still a little bit too low for me. I want to climb up to about 6,000 RPM or so. So both these P770s models aren't probably for my swing. But what I do find interesting is there is quite a large disparity. The only difference between these clubs, they both have KBS Tour Xs in them, but we've got a thousand spin difference and a slightly lower launching model of the P770s. I was actually expecting this because if you look at the P790s, they do have a little bit more of a tall ball flight, lower launch angle, but they still have quite a high apex and they come down with snow on it and stop quite quickly. The descent angle is still pretty optimal. So 2022 P770s, they're a little bit easier to hit. Despite being a little bit more compact, they're easier to hit. Like if efficiency at 1.4, I'm getting some really nice numbers. And you can see just on this little graph here that I was hitting them dead straight. But let's not leave it there. Let's take the two six signs out on the course now and see how they perform just about from 180 to 200 yards. It is cold out there. So let's see how we get on. Right, here we are, about 185 yards away on the Kingfisher course at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate. It's very wet, that's why I've teed it up here. Give you some numbers as well. Got the brand new P770 first. Now that I'm outside, it, you can really tell it does look a lot more compact than the previous model from 2020, but I like it, I really do. Stay there, that's a bad start. Left side, I believe. Do the club. Look nice. Right, now the 2020p770 that we've got here, slightly different. Didn't hit those ones particularly well with the 2022 model. That's airborne and short. Left, but it's okay. But it's just looking a little bit higher of a ball flight in comparison to 2022 model, which is quite interesting. Hit it well, she's going towards the left side of the green again. The 2022 P770s, although they look a little bit more compact, they feel quite a bit like the P790s. I had a bit of time to collect my thoughts trying to find all those golf balls that plugged in the green and in the fringe. And the new P770 with the speed foam air really is the piece of a 90s little brother. There's nothing revolutionary about it, but by providing the new technology from the piece of a 90 now in the P770, it feels a little bit faster, a little bit more forgiving, and it has a more tour inspired ball flight. Something that I noticed in the P790. I wouldn't recommend upgrading from the previous P770s. 165 pounds a club for the new P770s, it's pretty expensive. It's nothing revolutionary in these irons. But I would think for 2023 and going forwards, what was the best iron of 2020? Is it gonna be the best iron of 2023? We're gonna to have to do some more comparisons. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. And if you are new to Golf Magic, smash that subscribe button as well. Keep you up to date with all of our content. We've got a lot of really exciting things coming in the next few weeks and months, so stay tuned for those. If you wanna see any more comparisons as well, let me know down in the comments. Shush. Until the next video, guys, I'll catch you later.